All right, Michelle, thank you. And as many enjoy this St. Patrick's Day weekend, law enforcement officials are reminding you to be safe and avoid getting behind the wheel if your celebration includes alcohol. WXI 12's Kara Peters joins us live from the Winston-Salem Police Department, somewhere you don't want to end up. And Kara, tell us more about the enforcement campaign that's underway. Hey there, Christine. Well, it's called the Booze It and Lose It campaign, and you can expect to see increased law enforcement officials from now until March 19th. Now, I was able to speak to a local bar on what people should remember if they plan on going out. A sea of green to bring in the St. Patrick's Day holiday. Bar manager for Finnegan's Pub in downtown Winston-Salem says she's seen a steady increase in people. We are super excited. Um, we were a little nervous because the weather is supposed to be, you know, not the best all day. But we've had a great turnout and we hope to only get busier as the night goes on. And while some decided to drive to the festivities, Southern says that hasn't been the only way people came to celebrate. Many using Uber and Lyft services as well. All the time, all day, every year. It is great how the community comes together to get everybody home safe. According to a release by the North Carolina Department of Transportation, there were 225 alcohol-related crashes over the 2022 holiday weekend, resulting in 11 deaths. The hope is that's not the case this time around. It's the most important thing to have fun, but to be safe, like, don't let one bad night turn into someone's lifelong nightmare. And Christine, I can tell you, despite the rain, we have already seen an uptick in patrol. And as a reminder for those that are heading out in this weather, keep in mind that this campaign will be going on from now until March 19th. We are live in Winston-Salem. I'm Kara Peters, WXII 12 News.